Yeah, I, I thought we had a great fall. You know, it's it's always hard. Change is always hard. You know, and and I think the players did a really good job of of um, you know buying into the structure that we have and 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 putting in the work and uh, spending a little bit more time in, in the weight room and and doing some things that aren't necessarily just hitting balls all day. Um, you know, so. I feel really good about it. The results were great. Obviously, having um, you know a team make it to the ICA Cup and and do pretty well there, um, and then um, you know performing pretty well at our regional. You know, I, I feel like uh, the fall season was pretty successful, and you know, I think more importantly though, just the process of how of how the players trained and and really bought into to what we're doing. Um, I think that was that was a big success for us. Coach, moving into the spring long tennis schedule on the horizon but if you had to pick a few headlines for each side obviously your men's team coming off a qualification to the national tournament the women's team has made a step in the right direction each year if you had to pick a couple headlines for each side of your program what would they be i mean i think for the men you know we've, we've added a couple of guys we're excited about um you know what, what they're going to bring to to our team and so I think for us, it's just getting off to a good start. You know, we, we got on the men's side, the schedule, both schedules are really, really demanding, but I think on the men's side, you know, we're gonna start out with really five, five or six really, really strong division two opponents. And, um, but I think our guys are looking forward to the opportunity, you know. Um, it's kind of one of those things where we, we're just gonna have to focus on what's right in front of us. You know, this weekend we got, you know, um, a double header exhibition against Rio Grande Valley and SMU. and. Um, we're going to play inside, um, and I think those first few weeks could potentially be that way. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's more about just what's in front of us. Certainly, I think that there, I don't think there's too many limits on, on what the men can accomplish. You know, at the same time, you know, all the teams have improved. You know, I think the conference is much deeper on the men's side than it has been in the past. Um, so every match is going to be a challenge, and I think, you know, like I said, keeping us, keeping us healthy, getting stronger every day, getting better every day. I think that's really the focus. Not that much different for, for the women's side, you know, certainly, um, you know, we're gonna play some tough teams right off the bat. We got um, some exhibitions and then we have Central Oklahoma, one of the top teams in the country on the road, more than likely inside because of the weather. So, um, you know, it's gonna be much of the same theme. I, I really think the girls have done a great job of coming together um, and, and, you know, really, really focusing on what they can do in the process of, of just competing. You know, I think they've done a really good job of implementing some of the things that we've worked with each of them individually into their games. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about both seasons, certainly. And I think, like I said, if we can stay healthy and we can keep everybody competing, I feel pretty confident that we're gonna be in the mix. Coach, in your return to UT Tyler, when you look back on your past success here, it seems like each of your teams has had a little bit something different, whether it's roster makeup, the schedule, success in the postseason. What do you hope is different about these two 2023 teams compared to your other teams in the past here at UT Tyler? Well, I, I mean, I, I don't I don't know that. Uh, certainly we've evolved, you know, I mean, in, in the span of 20 years of, of coaching, you know, you've, you've tried, I've tried to become more efficient and, 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 you know, do things, uh, you know, um, be as productive as possible. I think as you get older, you know, people tend to get more organized and things like that. But I think from these teams, you know, it's the, the, the standards and the landmarks that we believe in, you know, competing hard every day, um, being process oriented, you know, I, I don't think those things really change. And so that's really, that's really what we're hoping for. Certainly we want to win everything. We want to go all the way. But I think at the end of the day, you're not going to get there unless you really stick to your processes. Um, and so with this team, obviously being new to me, um, that's really been a big emphasis for us is, is buying into the process of competing hard, the process of, you know, not getting too up, not getting too down. You know, tennis can be a very lonely game. And so it's easy to get to get lost in distractions and other things, especially when you're out there by yourself. So the more that we can just stay in a good structure, have good processes, I think the more successful we'll be.